with traffic? No with traffic? Yo, don't crash my car, nigga, because... Uh, <laughs> we're on the way to practice right now. <laughs> Filming episode three. Uh, um... We were supposed to battle, you and I. We were supposed we were. to battle at four hours, but then I gave up on that bullshit because... Traffic? I tried, right, because of traffic, literally. I got fed you up. You Maryland drivers. And uh, it wasn't Terrible. even that. They were just blocking all the exits from my uh, from my house and shit. It's and Maryland. Just, right, yeah, whatever. Maryland, oh, that's stupid. But uh, it it'll still happen. I'll just get my I'll get my legs situated and everything. It'll be, it'll be dope. 26 rounds. It'll How many of y'all can do 26 rounds straight? At 30 seconds apiece. <laughs> do you have that in you? I don't think so. I'd like to see that. <laughs> And I'll battle anybody outside of the people who've been trained like me to see if they can do that. I would like to see more of that. I would like to see dancers who have more stamina, who are not out of breath after popping for two minutes. Yeah. There's always that difference between practicing and training. Oh, training. <laughs> not, not practicing. Not getting down. <laughs> training. Damn right. Damn, you're damn right. Damn it. But, uh, yo, what's your take on, um, popping internationally? I feel like the European poppers, they stay in Europe. And then, uh, and then I feel like also, like, the poppers in America, they stay here. <laughs> they stay home. Okay. Um, and then the only ones who are really traveling are the poppers from Japan it all depends on what you care about as a dancer um, as far as international poppers like Europe first of all let me give credit where credit is due all them dudes over there who are winning everything they deserve to win everything because nobody's better than them over there over there right they run things a certain way over there I've noticed that and certain people win but at the same time a lot of them can't be beat don't look who's calling me. Oh, Johnny, Johnny Ninja. Ninja. But he's going to have to wait. <laughs> uh, a lot of them can't be beat. He put the stealth on him. I did. <laughs> a lot of them can't be beat. Um, but all them European poppers, they're kicking ass and taking names. And, you know, a lot of that has to do with the skill level. And a lot of that also has to do with clout and favoritism. That happens in every scene. So nobody can yeah. say, oh, I don't do that. Everybody does it everywhere. It's just, will you let it affect the outcome of a battle if you're the judge for a competition? And the cypher people can say what they want. The right. two competitors know who won in here at the end of the day and in here. Right. Um, on a dance floor and a, and a competition, that's completely different. Um, there's a lot of favoritism everywhere, and I feel like a lot of international judges, which is only like seven or eight of you. So if you feel some kind of way about this, yeah, I'm talking about you. Let's, let's stop judging on what we like to see and let's start judging on who actually won the battle. Yeah. I don't care about your personal opinion on popping, how they should hit, how they should move. Bump that. Oh, he didn't show feeling. He didn't try hard enough. If he won, he won. Because then you're, you're cheating them. You're cheating the people who put their heart on the line in front of everybody at the jam. Then they go home feeling some type of way. That's pretty messed up. Uh, American, American poppers. Right now, there's, there's quite a few, I feel like, that could go overseas. I would put myself in that category. I wouldn't put myself at the top of that category, but I would put myself in that in that category. Uh, a couple other people I put in that category. There's names you already know, like Slim Boogie, J-Rock, J-Smooth, um, Frantic, uh, North America. Canada, Canada's North America. Right, right, I don't right. care if you like it or not, it is. Uh, Venom, my spot, Green Tech. Right. Uh, Sean from uh, Moon Runners, Icy. There's a lot of people right now. Uh, Kid Soul from Detroit. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's from Arizona. Damn. He's tight. Whatever. He's tight. <laughs> Pop and John. Right, right, right. Uh, Pop and Todd. There's a, quite a few people. Sugarloo, who's from Japan, but he lives in New York. There's a lot of people who are in America that can go overseas and whoop that ass. Uh, King Mike, myself, uh, Tabolt, Tabolt 3000. Um, John Books, he's already done it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Tronic waves are crazy. Uh, there's a lot of people. Jam Funky, he's already done it. He's not even from here, but he lives here. Right. Um, 
they're dangerous. They don't win over there a lot of the time because favoritism when uh-huh. they should have won. Not saying that we're better or they're better, right, right, right. but I'm just saying like somebody won, they won. And I feel like a lot of times we lose because we uh, are getting cheated. That being said, we do need to stop giving them a reason to cheat us overseas. So from one popper who, this will be 10 years next year for me, I've been popping. So I don't care about people's opinions, all I care about is skill level. And I train my ass off every day. And I expect you guys to do the same. I even had a little spat with Frannick at, uh, it was for like two seconds, at Popper's Picnic. Somebody heard, overheard me saying that he bores me. Now, I said that out of the fact that I've been watching hip-hop for God knows how long. So I'm not impressed by any of the shit I've seen him do forever. Uh-huh. That being said, like myself in my scene and in his scene, he's one of the people who they look up to. So we have no choice but to constantly push. And I looked up to him for a long time. So now, I would expect him to constantly be pushing to keep me motivated. Not that I don't have to have somebody else motivate me, but at the same time, he's one of those people where we want you to win all the time. You know what I'm saying? When you go overseas, we're all behind you. It's not just your scene. Even the people that don't like you want you to win because you're an American. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So when I say I'm bored by that, I don't care, I'm not impressed. I'm not hating, I'm stating that I'm not impressed by that. I want them to see something, I want to see them do something that's gonna blow my mind. Cause I'm at the point now where almost nothing impress, impresses me. I've been I've been seeing everything for the past 10 years. I've watched popping evolve from just the, the same old boogaloo stuff to everybody coming up with their own styles and doing their own thing. And now that I live through that, I want to see something else. Gotcha. So now that I've seen everybody blow up and be fantastic, everything that's fantastic to all you young kids is not fantastic to me. I don't care. So I told Fred, I got to step your game up. I said, yo, you have to win. I told him at Popper's Picnic, you have to win. We don't win anything. This is why they don't respect us around the world. We created this fucking dance. <laughs> we created every fucking dance that's in street dance. In America, it comes from here. We need to win everything. They don't respect us anymore because they whoop our ass because we give them a reason. Stop going overseas and giving them a reason to cheat us. Make it so that if they do cheat us, that judge gets ridiculed. People stop going to events where that judge is. I've already started doing that with a lot of people. I don't go to their events because a certain judge is gonna be there because I know they cheat people. And that's even just here in America. So I'm damn sure not gonna go overseas to an event where somebody's gonna cheat me because of the way I pop. Yeah. Period. That being said, 2015 and 2016, I'm traveling, so I'm I'm ready to put my ass, my foot in everybody's ass. Oh, oh shit. shit! Yeah, I'm ready. I just gotta get my money up. That costs money. I don't have, right, right, right. you know. But that's life. That's why I haven't been traveling. Money. Gotcha. That being said, I'm going. Um, Asian poppers. Here's my thing with Asia, and and at first it used to bug it bug the shit out of me. Every move everybody does. Oh, oh, oh! It's like it's like you either get eaten by zombies in the crowd, or like everybody's having an orgasm. I don't understand, but that doesn't cause for you to fucking scream just because he he beat killed. I don't care. It's not impressive. No offense to everybody over there doing it. Posing, Horn, uh, Dokun, uh, Pop and Jay, Crazy Keo. These are all people I I love. I love their pop. Right, right, right. JG, they're amazing. But I'm not gonna sit there and go, ah, oh! every time they breathe on me. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it turns me off. But I understand that over there, it's, it's very different. Right. The culture in Asia is very supportive. And it's, it's very much on respect. And so they just love to dance so much that everything excites them, which is cool. But over here, to a lot of us, that's really annoying. <laughs> but I understand why you do it. So, you know, keep on doing what you do. Um, but the reason they're so tight is because, unlike over here, everybody supports each other. Even if they talk and crap behind each other's backs or not, because that happens everywhere. Right. They still support each other. And they push. They push hard. They train hard. That's why they kept popping alive. Popping would have died if it wasn't for Asia. Everybody knows that. Anybody wants to dispute that, go jump off a bridge. Because you wouldn't be popping right now if it wasn't for them. They kept it alive. Um, so, big ups to them on that forever. Um, I feel like a lot of that is getting watered down though I see a lot of Asian poppers copying older Asian poppers And even if that Asian popper looks different now You look exactly like Gushan from 2005 Like it, that I understand you want to you imitate the person But at, after a while it becomes biting 
You're not imitating them anymore. You're biting. You're stealing a style. And you put all this work into looking like them instead of looking like yourself. Mm. You could be something completely different. You could be something that nobody can touch. But because you chose to be that person from six years ago, now you're just a statistic. You're just another person doing that style of popping. Or you're just another person imitating Gushan or imitating Crazy Keo or imitation, imitating Horn or imitating anybody over there. There's a lot of imitators in China and Japan and Korea and Thailand and Vietnam and all over Asia. I understand you respect each other, you respect your teachers, you love this dance. Love yourself enough to look like nobody else. You know who gets the most respect out of me from Asia, out of all the countries? Two tap because he looks like absolutely no one and he's smoking all y'all. Every last one of y'all. If you step to him in a cipher aggressively, I bet you he wear your ass out. <laughs> and I'm talking to all the Asian poppers right now. You can't see him. You can't. He's better than you. Because he doesn't look like anybody else. He doesn't look like anybody else. Too tat. Too tat is a beast. A monster. He's got his own style. His groove even revolves around the angles and the way he touches and his hits. I, you, you watch him dance, he looks like no one. Nobody on this planet. That's what's up, man. Even I look like my teachers a little right, bit. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Everybody looks like their teachers, but I still have my own way of doing things. Yeah. But he's so different from everyone that he looks like absolutely no one but two times. Completely. You can tell his stuff is based in Boogaloo. Funk styles. But it's so different that if you didn't know what Boogaloo was, you would just be like, what am I looking at? That's how good it is. So, big ups to Two Tat. Big ups to Two Tat. Mm -hmm.